Washington Post had a report on a really troubling uh, epidemic that is uh, really hurting young teenage boys. Put this up on the screen from the Washington Post. The headline here is, I don't know what to do. Thousands of teen boys are being extorted in sexting scams, an unprecedented number of cases leaving families devastated. Some of the numbers here, just to give you the backstory and the, and the idea, the way that this usually works, and I'll tell you, this is something that I'm aware of happening in you know my little small town with one of the friends of my teenage daughter, is um, they'll start chatting with some girl, right. you know, cute girl online. And she starts asking, sending pictures, asking you to send pictures. Next thing you know, they send something explicit. And then she, which turns out not to be right. who she's representing herself as, um, blackmails and says, basically, I'll release these photos um, if you don't pay me X amount of dollars. And, you know, if you're this kid, yeah, this team like boy. Right. They're, they don't want their parents to know they were sending nudes exactly. online. So they're embarrassed to go to their parents and they don't want to get in trouble and they don't know what to do. And so it's a horrific, you know, they end up in a horrific situation. The numbers here, they talk to this um, group that serves as a clearinghouse for records of abuse, received more than 10,000 tips of financial sextortion of minors, primarily boys, in 2022 from the public, as well as from electronic service providers like Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. Um, by the end of July 2023, they'd already received more than 12,500 reports routed to law enforcement with more continuing to pour in. Now, it is possible they say that some of these reports are duplicates, but you can see the way that the numbers are skyrocketing. And the um, fallout from this is horrific. You've had at least a dozen boys who died by suicide mm. last year after being blackmailed in this fashion. So it's just another way that, I mean, there's just so many horrific things <laughs> happening to kids that we would never have contemplated when yeah. we were young. That, that's what really creeped me out. That's one of the reasons I thought we were, because you had told me that, you know, you had, that this kind of thing had happened to somebody that you know, and I didn't realize it was so widespread, but it actually makes sense because, you know, parents, unfortunately, it doesn't seem, they're just handing their kids their phone and they're not having any conversations about this. And these kids don't have enough life experience to be like, yeah, some random hot girl just messaged me online. They're like, wow, this is awesome. I'm like, hey guys, it's probably not real. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's just not gonna be real. Comes with some life experience. Well, and that's the other yeah. thing, is not only they they don't wanna get in trouble, they're embarrassed. Yeah, of course. It's it, It's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah I it's get it. It's incredibly embarrassing. And you're right. like, I got fooled by this person yeah. to send these photos. I thought she really liked me. You know, I thought this was like a whole thing. And now, um, you know, I'm being blackmailed. And sometimes what they'll do to you is they'll ask for like a relatively small amount of money to start mm. with. And it's like, all right, fine, I'll send you the 20 bucks right. just to like have this go away and not have to deal with it. And then they just keep upping the ante and up. And they're like, the oh, ante. go get your parents' credit card or something like that. Well, that's awful. Or send me crypto. Probably I bet half these guys aren't even in America because they're technically dabbling in child porn too, which is like a whole that's other thing. Absolutely correct. It's really creepy. Uh, I just think that, you know, I honestly, schools need to take charge in this. They need to start doing sessions on this when kids are like 11, 12 years old. I don't know what age kids, what, what age do kids get phones now? Like 10? Around there, usually around middle school. Okay. So yeah, so, 10, 11, yeah, 12, that's somewhere right. in there. You gotta start, it's like, you know, sex ed, health ed, whatever. You know, you gotta have start having like some sort of conversation about so true. online and phone behavior um, if this is gonna be happening because otherwise you're just setting yourself up, like I said, for a nightmare. And the, the really scary part and what we wanted to highlight is that there are multiple suicides now directly linked to this. I mean, who knows how many, and we've also had so many high profile incidents. Again, adults, we know the whole like Manny Teo story and the catfish movie, all of those, I remember them, you know, very well. Uh, but a lot of these kids, they don't know, you know, and they don't have as much experience and, you know, they're developing. And so like, it, it's just, uh, they're being thrust into the wild, like on Instagram and on their phones. Unfortunately, it appears with like very little uh, supervision or at least like talking to from their parents. So we gotta, we gotta set new norms around technology and all this stuff, which you or I who may have grown up with this tech, you know, it seems very intuitive to us, but we gotta think about a developing brain that's just immediately interacting with this tech. Yeah, really no, sad. that's right. And listen, I mean, sometimes the parents do talk to the kids about Right, and they still do. Yeah, kids they don't stupid. listen, you yeah. know? I mean, because sometimes you've learned things the hard way. Right. If there's anyone out there listening who's been right. in this situation, like, I know it's embarrassing, I know you don't wanna get in trouble, whatever. Your parents are human beings too. Yeah. They've made mistakes as well. Right. Like get a grown up involved and do not send the money because it will not end. Yeah. It's not going to solve the problem. Go to your parent, so, go to your whatever, uncle, like contact somebody law you enforcement. Trust. Bingo. Because, yeah. like you said, I mean, there's ser not only the blackmail, but also you're talking about child pornography. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's serious penalties for this. So. And there should be. Yeah. It's a good thing. You can actually get them in trouble.
<laughs> yeah, I hope law enforcement is like up to date right. on these types of crimes I because so I know too. in the past there's been it's been difficult to get police to take these sorts of things seriously like this is a real crime because it was just so like right. such a new landscape and something they didn't know how to navigate either so makes sense anyway stay vigilant there you go we'll see you later hey guys if you like that video go to breakingpoints.com become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet that's right we're subscriber funded we're building something new we want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations so again to subscribe it's breakingpoints.com